today's video we're gonna be talking about the what now <laughs> there was a stabulous a stabulous <laughs> they were established great job you know what I'm like you know what I'm saying y'all know y'all know y'all know y'all know I gotta try them you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The butthole lip that cannot be unbuttholed. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I wanted to do like this, but I just ended up going like this. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the brand new just launched skinny jeans from the brand Spanx. Now, if y'all have never heard of Spanx, they are a wildly popular, I wanna say widely popular, but they're a wildly popular shapewear brand that was launched, I wanna say in the early to mid 2000s, somewhere around 2000, somewhere in 2005, maybe somewhere somewhere around there and I mean at that time or another I think I was working as a receptionist making like 650 an hour something like that so Spanx was just not even on the horizon for me and I'm not gonna lie to y'all purchasing them this time around it stung a little bit <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit painful but you know what damn it when a shapewear brand comes out with skinny jeans you gotta you gotta try them I mean <laughs> you gotta try them so in today's video we're gonna be talking about price we're gonna be talking about pros and cons of course I'm gonna be trying these suckers on for y'all and I'm gonna let you know whether or not they're worth your hard-earned money so let's just jump right into it if y'all like this type of content and would like to see more please consider liking and subscribing you know your girl would appreciate it and without further delay, let's get into this Spanx plus size jeans review right now. Let's go. All right, y'all. So now let's talk about some Spanx skinny jeans. Specifically, these are the Spanx ankle skinny jeans. And I just want to say really quickly before we get started, if y'all see me looking down around sideways, one eye going one way, the other going the other way, I'm probably looking at notes. I took a lot of notes with these because I want to give y'all the ins and outs and everything in between. Some things you might find value with it, some things you might not find value, but I wanted to give y'all a thorough review nonetheless. So this is what the jeans look like. And these are specifically the Spanx ankle skinny jeans. They retail for $128. They also have other pairs that retail for $148, I think. So these are the lower tiered or the l less expensive jeans. Now, one of the first things that I noticed whenever I pulled these out of the packaging was that they have no front button. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of aggravated me. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I try on jeans, whenever I wear jeans, I like a good button in the front. Whenever I'm reviewing jeans, I always talk about the button because when you have a contrasting stitch like this, usually you have like a copper button or a gold button, something that kind of brings it all together and makes it look a little bit more pulled together. I don't know, it's just something that I look for, but they don't have a button and they also don't have front functional pockets. So these are more of a jegging, they're a jegging. <laughs> also, the size range goes from a size extra small all the way up to a size 3X. And I think if I'm not mistaken, that a 3X is considered a size 26. I'm gonna include a picture of the size chart right here over my face just to be on the safe side because I can be completely off base when I'm talking about the different sizes. But I do know they have petite inseams, regular inseams, and tall inseams available if you're interested. Now, besides the button issue, and I will admit that is kind of a nitpick, these jeans are actually really, really cute on. Now, getting them on <laughs> is a whole adventure in and of itself. I had to James Brown these suckers on like nobody's business. I was throwing my back out, my shoulder was hurting, I was in a sweat, I was rolling around on the floor. They are a challenge to get on because they have this really, really thick, like firm band right here at the top and they feel like shapewear. When you put these on, they feel like shapewear. They even sort of sound like shapewear. So if you know what I'm talking about, whenever you, if you have a chub rub like I do, you know that inner thigh just kind of, you know, does that little friction. But these jeans definitely do do that. They do make that sound. And that's something that I wanted to let y'all know. It's something that I put on my notes. And it kind of got me thinking, I was like, 
you know don't a lot of my jeans who have a lot of lycra a lot of spandex sort of make that sound too you know kind of like a dj <laughs> you got a dj in your crotch chicken 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 whenever you're walking around i don't know maybe it's a deal breaker for you maybe it's not but it's something i wanted to mention nonetheless so when you turn these jeans around this is what the back of the jeans look like and i do really like the way the back looks as i mentioned before it does have the functional back pockets i wish it had that functional front pocket but you know you can't have it all but once i got these on once they were locked and loaded which did take a while <laughs> it did take a little while um, i felt amazing i felt beautiful i mean it smoothed everything out my butt looked fantastic so i was in the mirror going "Ooh, okay that mirror looks good let me look in this one. Ooh, okay i'm looking i'm looking really good it kept everything smooth and one of my main problem areas that i have on my body is my stomach particularly my lower pooch i got that c-section pooch that just won't go away that pregnancy pooch that's like 17 years old at this point it just is here to stay you know what i mean but it smoothed it out so so well and i did appreciate that so so much as far as the quality goes i think these are great the seams don't pull they don't splay the surging on the inside is perfect so they're very well made jeans or jeggings also something i want to mention really quickly is the elastic or whatever it is the shapewear tension that holds you in is almost different right past the knee it's really interesting it's like they were designed to hold you in from the knee up and from the knee down it feels like a regular denim jean but from the knee up it's shapewear, so that's kind of cool. Here's the thing, here's the golden question, the million dollar question. Is that something that you won't achieve with any other product? I'm gonna say no. Really and truly, honestly, I think that you can wear a Walmart pair of jeans with a Walmart pair of shapewear underneath them and probably receive the same amount of sculpting and smoothing and whatnot. $128 is a lot of money. So overall, y'all, final answer, end of story. I do think that I'm going to return these. I just can't validate $128 or even $148 for one pair of jeans with some built-in shapewear. When these, they look like shapewear, they feel like shapewear when you're getting them on, they sound like shapewear when you're wearing them. I just can't validate that amount of money when I know deep down in my heart and soul that I can get the same or even a better result, a more customized result from some Walmart jeans or some Shein jeans or, you know, some Walmart shapewear or even some Honey Love shapewear. Wear some Honey Love shapewear underneath your favorite pair of jeans and call it a day. So one thing that I do think is worth it is this Spanx leggings. Now this is the first time I've ever tried the Spanx leggings. I wasn't going to talk about it, but I figured since I, I didn't like these so much that I would just you know kind of piggyback onto another thing so i did try these which these are brand new these are the faux leather snakeskin leggings they do have a smell they have kind of a kind of a weird plasticky smell but these look really really cute on they are 98 dollars, so i don't know maybe these aren't worth it either <laughs> 98 dollars is so much money y'all i don't know but they really look cute on and i could see myself getting a lot more use out of these in the fall and winter months than just one pair of jeans. Because if you have one pair of Spanx jeans, then you have to have two or three because you need to have some to rotate out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. What do y'all think? Let Y'all let me know from everything that I said in this video, would you say that it's worth it? $120 or $148 for a pair of some Spanx jeans? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear what y'all have to say. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video, y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. I'm going to be seeing y'all very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.